I will start with the underside of the vessel, the part that's underwater that you normally can't see. The very bottom, where the sides of the boat come together, is called the keel. The bottom of the boat is simply called the bottom. Where the vessel sits in the water, along that plane, is called the water line. If there is a line painted on the boat just above the water line, this is called the boot top. The front of the vessel, the forward end of the vessel, is called the bow. The back of the vessel, aft, is called the stern. Back aft, below the water line, is the vessel's steering mechanism. This is called a rudder. Also back aft below the water line is normally found the boat's propulsion. This is made up of several parts. The propeller, sometimes a strut, and the propeller shaft. The propeller can also be called a wheel or the screw. The part of the hull that continues up from the water line and ends at the deck line is called the topsides. Where the topsides meet the deck, this is called the shear line. The part of the hull that continues up from the deck is called a tow rail, or if it's taller, bulwarks. The bulwarks then have a rail cap on top of them. Some vessels are flush deck and have no deck houses. If they have deck houses, the top of the deck house is called a cabin top. An opening in the deck or the cabin house is called a hatch. If the opening has its own small house around it, that's called a scuttle. The doors on a boat are called doors. Whew. Finally, something we get to keep. They can be hinged doors, sliding doors, or watertight doors, but they're still doors. Not windows though. Oh no, we gotta mess with those. If they're affixed and you have to walk clear around to clean them, then they're called deadlights. If they open, they're called ports. There can be square ports and rectangular ports, but if the port is round, it's called a port hole. When you are standing aboard a vessel facing forward, the right side of the vessel is called the starboard side. The left side of the vessel is called the port side. Now you've probably had quite enough. Unfortunately, there's much more where this came from. And it will be at least three more videos before you can call yourself a salty dog. Twas plaming in the beamsy sheets did jibe and spinnacore the beach, while Burgie were the mizzen beats and the state tack outreached. He took his tiller left to deck, a long time the distant main he sought, so ruddered he by the gallifrey and anchored there thwart. About, about, and in and out, the plimsoll mast went log a smack. He left her barred and planing hard, he jibed a bafting back. And has thou slooped the catacatch? Port to my helm, my bloomish buoy. O transom course, O freeboard horse, he portaled in his joy. It seems that no matter what facet of life you choose to get involved with, it's developed its own lingo, nomenclature, and acronyms. There is probably no lingo as demented, obscure, and confusing as that of the mariner. <laughs>